I love the um, cinematic feel uh, and the uh, qualities and the uh, colours that this camera produces. I feel the Venice has a subtlety of colour rendition that not many other digital cameras have. As a cinematographer, I try and play quite a lot of my lighting in the shadow end of, of, of things. And I feel um, the, the Sony sensor, and, and, and especially the Venice, allows me to just play things more in shadow without worrying about losing detail and definition. I do feel that when I'm working with Venice, I do have the confidence to be a bit more bolder and take a bit more gutsy decisions. Even though it's a new camera, I do have trust in it. And, and because of that, I do tend to play a bit more risks in my lighting than, than say, with other cameras. The dual ISO and the 2500 native ISO just allows you to take the camera into environments that you wouldn't normally have been able to take a camera into and be able to shoot with available light. For example, in urban sort of street light at night, the 2500 ASA just allows you to go out onto the streets of London without using any supplementary lighting and be able to capture the darkest alleyway and still get beautiful images. I do feel that digital sensors have now reached the, the quality of film in terms of latitude and colour. The Venice is a very versatile camera. I think the dual ISO immediately gives you two totally different looks to play with. You can really stretch and pull the image uh, of, of, of the Venice to different areas to kind of give yourself different looks. You can overexpose the sensor and put a bit more sort of guts in the blacks, or you can underexpose and put a bit more grain and noise in there because I think the, the, the image is, is, is relatively clean and it, and it really holds together quite well, which means you can really stress it a bit more than other cameras. I found the menus on the Venice very intuitive uh, and it was easy to find the settings that I was looking for. As a camera assistant with a new camera, that's always uh, one of the first things is, uh, will you be able to find the settings that you want to change and will they react in the way that you want them to when you do? And uh, they did, I'm happy to report. We've been shooting this film. We've chosen uh, a hotel in Soho to shoot it in. And one of the briefs and one of the challenges was to be as, as non-disruptive to the hotel as possible. And I really felt that the hotel had some really special architectural lighting uh, that I wanted to capture. One that I thought that would complement the camera's um, abilities as well and be able to just enhance it in a way that uh, also captures it. So the second day of the shoot, we tried to create a slightly more contrasting image to the glossiness of the hotel. We sort of went with a dull, grey, rainy day. I tried to underexpose it and make it a bit more gritty and colder and go against the warm colours of the hotel. The Venice has eight stops of built-in ND filters. Um, there's no other camera on the market at the moment that has as many steps of ND built in. So. Um, normally when you're using NDs built in, you're, you're having to supplement them with glass filters in the front, whereas with the Venice you can quickly go from anything from an ND3 to an ND2.4 instantly, so that's a very useful tool. It's such a versatile camera that really the world's your oyster. We shot probably much 95% of the, uh, the film just using LED lighting. I chose to use the Zeiss Supreme Primes, which is a large format lens that's new to the market, which I feel has a lovely organic quality without too much sharpness. And they have a beautiful personality that I really like in combination with the Venice. The camera gives such a cinematic image straight out of the box. A cinematic camera for me is a camera that captures the subtleties of tone and subtleties of colour that your eye sees faithfully. In the grade, you're just enhancing that. I tried to do as minimal grading as possible to really show what the camera can capture without too much manipulation. We did zero noise reduction in the grade. We just enhanced some of the composition with some shape. I think the Venice does look exceptional in HDR. It's versatile in, in a whole range of drama projects. It's a, a camera that really uh, likes being pushed. The XOCN gives you the 
benefit of raw recording without the footprint of a, an uncompressed raw data file and be able to uh, bring out the best out of that camera in the grading environment without any translation. And I really do feel that uh, it gives you 100% of the dynamic range and tonal range that the camera captures, which as a cinematographer is what you want.